So today I want to show you how to get through any gig with any guitar. Oftentimes, guitarists who do a lot of session work will recommend that players have a Strat, Tele, and Les Paul just to cover all their bases. That is good advice. Not necessarily practical advice for an up-and-coming player, though. For instance, when I was an undergrad trying to learn how to be a professional guitar player, I had an Eric Johnson Strat with lower output pickups, and a friend of mine had an Ibanez RG. Despite having similar goals, we were working with very different starting points, and neither of us really saw buying two or three guitars immediately as a doable option. Since my undergrad, I've been fortunate enough to add a handful of guitars to my collection. So today I'm going to use my Sir Modern, which is the closest to an RG or really any HSH Super Strat style guitar. My PRS Silver Sky, which will cover single coil guitars. And my PRS Vela, which will cover curveball guitars. Guitars with really specific sounds that are not Strat, Telly, or Les Paul sounds. And I'm going to focus on four genres, rock, pop, jazz, and Americana. If you like what you see here today, please comment, like, subscribe. It really helps the channel, and I really appreciate it. Also, check out my Patreon if you'd like MP3s, PDFs, mini lessons, and personalized practice routines. So let's hear if these guitars can rock. The Modern has this covered pretty easily. With a very high output bridge humbucker, the one thing you'd want to be conscious of is not having too much gain. It's really easy to dial in some like 80s rock anthem tones. But it is important with these high output humbucker guitars to also be able to dial in like kind of a classic rock key distortion. Sometimes these guitars will be humbucker humbucker and sometimes they'll be humbucker single humbucker. And I find that the single coil setting can really help like cut a lot of the output and get a different kind of tone. <laughs> Silver Sky Rock. It's the first roadblock. As you can see, I swapped out the bridge pickup. I would recommend this if you have a true single coil bridge and are looking to just play any gig that comes your way. People may say, just work the volume knob. Use the second and fourth positions that are hum canceling. Except working the volume knob gets really old, and the second position, for instance, is no clear substitute for an amazing bridge tone. There are so many different options for silent single coils these days, and while I wouldn't recommend just swapping all of them immediately, I'd say the bridge pickup is a must. The bridge in my Silver Sky is a Fralin hot split blade. Even though it has hot in the name, it is nowhere near as hot as the humbucker in the modern. It's really easy to get a great rock sound, although you might have to add more gain than you'd think to do something like a tapping part. It's a very embarrassing moment to have like a medium amount of gain and then try to tap. It's like, does the Vela rock? This guitar has a Fralin big single in it with 43 gauge wire, which means it's closer to a humbucker. The 43 gauge wire version is somewhere between a humbucker and a single coil, and the 42 gauge wire is closer to just a single coil. So this pickup, although being a single coil, will have considerable output. Although the EQ on the Vela is a little bit different because it's semi-hollow, it's top loading, it has brass saddles, you'll still be able to dial in a really nice rock tone. Really, the challenge with a guitar like the Vela, as far as making it work for any gig, is just minding your EQ. <laughs> pop music. When I think of pop and electric guitar, I think of mainly single coil-ish sounds playing a really catchy rhythm part. Again, the middle pickup in an HSH can be really perfect for this. It'll definitely be a better choice than the high output bridge or neck humbucker. Also because the single coils will be able to cut through a mix, and especially in pop, there can be a lot of sounds coming at you. Sometimes adding a little bit of grit can muddy up positions two and four on one of these kinds of guitars, but position three will be able to handle the little extra zhuzh. Can the 
Silver Sky do pop. I mean, it's John Mayer's signature. Positions three and five will do great. And if you're at a venue with horrible electricity, honestly, positions two and four will also sound great. One thing to remember, though, is that if you're on the neck pickup on a Strat and you dial in a tone that's bright enough to cut through a mix, when you switch to that fourth position because the electricity is bad, it's going to be really harsh. Can the Vela do pop? If the curveball guitar has humbuckers, Generally, these types of guitars also have like a coil split. My Vela is more like a hot single coil and a humbucker with no split. Whether it's set up kind of like mine or has the two humbuckers with the split, that middle position is going to be your friend in this genre. It can get a really nice funk sound and have a specific EQ that can cut through a mix. modern do jazz. There's a neck humbucker. Pat Metheny has a neck humbucker. Problem solved. Kind of kidding, but just don't turn the tone knob all the way down. Basically, as long as you don't have a super bright tone dialed in, the neck humbucker will only be doing you favors when it comes to getting a jazz sound. <laughs> Silver Sky Jazz. As far as I know, Tele neck pickups are a bit thicker than Strat neck pickups, which is probably why I've heard every now and again of Tele players putting Strat neck pickups in their guitars to make it super versatile. That less blues sounding neck Tele pickup makes it much more suitable for jazz though. So in an effort to tame some of the bluesness of the Strat neck pickup, I'd recommend rolling the tone down maybe to seven, maybe to five, maybe even three. Also, you could just roll it down a little bit and then use something like an RC booster to fatten up the sound. Does the Vela jazz? This Vela has a mini humbucker, so it should be able to jazz just fine. Brent Mason, session player extraordinaire, uses a mini humbucker in his tally for jazz, and I hear no complaints. It might not be an arch top with a neck humbucker, but as far as I can tell, that's not really the criteria for good jazz tone. My Vela has a Fralin mini humbucker in the neck, which is a little bit brighter. So we can do what we did with the Silver Sky neck pickup and just roll the tone down a little bit. After that, you should be able to dial in a really nice jazz tone. <laughs> guitars do Americana. Personally, I think this is where the Sir Modern really gets to flex its power. The neck sounds great for clean tone solos or like a calmer rhythm. The middle pickup works really well for cutting through the mix rhythm playing as well as single coil solos. And with the bridge being so hot, it's like I almost just always have a boost on that's kind of pushing the amp. For instance, on my song Ageless, I was going for kind of an Americana vibe and I just used my Modern on the bridge pickup straight into a super reverb. That humbucker really pushed it, and it sounds like I kind of have a boost on, but it's just the humbucker by itself. Silver Sky do Americana. I think your bases are completely covered with a guitar like this. All I could say is, you know, mind the single coilness if you have bad electricity, and don't forget to add slapback and maybe some spring reverb, which honestly goes for all three guitars. 
I'm not the hugest fan of spring reverb just for my own personal taste, so I like to use room for a dark reverb and a plate for a bright reverb. Vela do Americana. One of my favorite things about this genre is I feel like I could bring any kind of left of center guitar to the gig and absolutely make it work. Especially when you're playing in an original band, sometimes the quirkier sounding guitar really brings a new kind of personality to all the songs. In case you're like me in undergrad and only had one guitar, I hope this really helps. Whether it be a humbucker guitar, single coil guitar, or some curveball guitar, you can make all of them work for any gig. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next week.